In this presentation we're going to look at a basic probability question and what we're going to look at is this question here a driver passes through three traffic lights the th chances that he or she will be stopped at the first is one half at the second one third and at the third a quarter independently of what happens at each of the other traffic lights that's an important matter there that what we have here is independent events so the probability rule the uh, independent events is going to be relevant here and so uh, let's look at this again so the chances that he or she will be stopped at the first so I'm going to call this first event F F for first just to make it clear rather than use a 1 uh, 1 ST just use first second is S and T is third I, I like to use sort of very short uh, letter names for events. Good practice. Uh, the probability of F is 0.5, the probability of S 0.33, and the probability of T 0.25. Now really another good practice would be to keep them in the same number of decimal places. I haven't done that. So uh, it should be usually about two decimal places each. Anyway, so uh, we're given that information here, one half, one third, and one quarter. There we are, half, one third, and one quarter. Also, what we might be interested in is complement probabilities. So, for example, the probability of not getting stopped, 0.5, and uh, the probability of not getting, uh, not getting stopped at the first, not getting stopped at the second, is, by the way, you might notice, I'll just draw it here, the complement event. There's a couple of different ways you might notate that, but this is the probability or the event that you don't get stopped at the first traffic lights. The complement of S, the probability of the complement of S not getting stopped at the second traffic lights, 0.66. That is 1 minus 0.33. And again, just three decimal places. Uh, for uh, 0.75 which is 1 minus 0.25. Um, so what we're asked, what the driver makes the entire journey, the whole journey, without getting stopped at any of the, tra uh, at the, uh, at the traffic lights, without getting stopped. Okay, so just remember that we were told that the probability, the chance that we, uh, we were told the probability that they would be stopped is one half, this is so what we might be interested in here and in particularly is all of this information over here probability of f uh, complement of f probability of complement of s probability of complement of t so this is an independent event and let's go to a new page here the I've gone too far there sorry just one sec probability of not getting stopped at any of the traffic lights so probability of zero there probably, probably zero traffic lights probably probably would have been more in keeping with my notation is the probability of not getting stopped at the first which is 0 0.5 times the probability of not getting stopped at the second which is 0 0.66 and probability of not getting stopped at the third is 0 0.75 now just to sort of remark this is the rule of independent events that probability of A let's say we have three events A, B and C the probability of A, B and C happening uh, altogether if they're independent events is just multiply out the probabilities so multiply that out bit of calculator work and we get the answer to be I have it written there 0 0.25 simple bit of calculator work uh, we are interested in also Let's go back to the next question there. The probability is uh, the, the drivers uh, only stopped at the first and third lights. Uh, 
what we might do first off is sort of consider let's suppose they uh, get stopped at the first lights only how will we calculate that well we probably have f that they do get stopped at the first lights but don't get stopped at either of the two others so that would be the complement of s and the complement of t and you work it out the same way now so you, see, you actually end up with the same uh, value there 0.25 because we're using the same numbers let's just say we were interested in finding the probability of only getting stopped at the second traffic lights so this is you don't get stopped at the first you do get stopped at the second probability of s and you don't get stopped at the third so it'll be 0.5 you don't get stopped at the first 0.33 you do get stopped at the second 0.75 you don't get stopped at the third you work that out you get 0.125 now so that's just a little bit of a sort of a variation on the first part of the question so I'm not actually answering the second part of the question yet but I think you can sort of see where I'm going with this so um, there's another one, uh, I have this on the next slide, the probability of getting stopped at the third only. So uh, I'm just going to write the second question here down at the bottom. Let's just go back and see what we were asked. Is only stopped at the uh, first and third lights. So that is probability of, I'm going to call this event F and T. first and third so that is probability of F times the probability of not getting stopped at the second times the probability of getting stopped at the third okay so that is equal to uh, not point five times uh, the probability of not getting stopped at the second is not point six six not point six 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 and probability of getting stopped at the third is not 0.25. Bit of calculator work that works out to be. I'll just write it down here in the bottom corner. Not 0.8. Oh, sorry. Not point. Not. Not. Not eight three 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 and so on. Okay. So that's the probability of getting stopped at the first and third only. Actually, just when people answer this question, they forget all about the second one for some reason. They just write probability of F times probability of T, and they forget all about this probability. They, they forget about everything to do with the second. You have to remember include the second in your calculation. So it's not point not eight three, and just check everything there yeah okay so the third question is stopped at just one set of lights only now I've sort of started into this already F of only S only and I also have T only so I, I was using those second uh, those sort of intermediate examples just to build on to answering the second question but I'm going to use some of that same information for answering the third question we have the probability of F only we have the probability of S only and we can also find out the probability of T only okay so that is not point uh, not a uh, uh, not point not a three so it's actually the same as probability of getting stopped at the first and third okay now the probability of getting stopped at one lights, one set of lights only. Okay, so I'm going to call this one only. Now I really should sort of say probability one only. These are mutually exclusive events. The what we have here.
So if they are mutually exclusive events, you can simply add the probabilities together. We've actually calculated there two already, 0.125 and 0 0.25, 0 0.083. So if we want to find out the probability of getting stopped at one light only, we simply add the probability of getting stopped at the first only, the second only, and the third only. Okay. Now just think of that in reverse. Um, you know, just be very mindful of this uh, when you're sort of thinking about the word. Uh, when you sort of say one only, what does that mean? This is actually when you go back to the question. Uh, just one set of lights. What does that mean? That means it's just stopped at the first, or stopped at the second, or stopped at the third only. That's as simple as that. Uh, okay, so that answers all of these questions. I'm going to leave it there.